SOLIDWORKS 2013 introduces several new enhancements to both the hole wizard and the holes created from them. In this design, we can see that there are several tapped holes. This is made obvious by the many cosmetic threads visible in the design. And though these are a great way to pick out the tapped holes in our design, the annotative cosmetic threads can become a little overwhelming in a complex assembly. New in SOLIDWORKS 2013 is the ability to explicitly turn off the annotative cosmetic threads while retaining the shaded ones. This is a great way to clear up our viewport, yet retain an understanding of which holes are tapped. Another enhancement to cosmetic threads is in the case of manually created ones. In this case, we have a shaft with a chamfered end on it. Creating cosmetic threads on this, sometimes it's hard to capture where the cosmetic thread starts from. 2013 now introduces the Start From Face Plane option for the case of blind cosmetic threads. This is great to ensure that we get properly documented cosmetic threads for manually created ones. Finally, we'll want to take a look at the hole wizard and add some holes to this design. New in SOLIDWORKS 2013 is the introduction of the new dowel hole type. Found under the standards option under standard holes, we can choose things such as size and unique to the dowel hole is the fit characteristics. In this case, we can choose from nominal, clearance, transitional, and press. We can even choose the specific fit classification as well. And like any other hole wizard hull, we can locate these using the same simple tools that we're used to inside of SOLIDWORKS. Finally, documenting these unique types of holes, including tapped and dowel holes, require some unique characteristics on a drawing. Let's go ahead and create a drawing for this plate that we've modified. We'll drag some basic views out under the drawing and then take a look at the holes that are created. Here, we can see that the tapped holes that we've created in this plate retain the annotative cosmetic threads even though we've chosen to turn that option off in the assembly. Also, the dowel holes that we've added have automatically had the unique dowel hole symbol applied to them in the drawing. This ensures proper documentation in the drawing regardless of how we want them to appear in the assembly. Another new enhancement in SOLIDWORKS 2013 is for saving views off for post-process operations. In many cases, when dealing with operations such as flame, water jet, or laser cutting, the end user, those operations often require a unique DXF or DWG file type. SOLIDWORKS 2013 now gives us the ability to save individual views off as these unique file types, simply by choosing the view in the Save As option. Finally, if we want to simplify a drawing, we can now save any view off as a sketch. Views can be saved as sketches, blocks, or replaced as an inserted block. This is a great way to reduce overhead on complex drawings or to share this drawing with another SOLIDWORKS user without the need to send them the SOLIDWORKS part file. 